Hello from Mocom Australia. We've been asked a few times now whether the things that we can recommend you do to put the hybrid H10 Tethys washer, the ultrasonic washer disinfector, into mothball mode if you've got to shut your clinic down for a little while. And there's a couple of things we can suggest. So let's run through them together. The main thing is uh, to pump out the detergent that's sitting in the detergent reservoir. If it's left too long, too many weeks, uh, with detergent in the hydraulic circuit, it can crystallise and make it very difficult to sort of pump when it's woken up again. So that's the detergent reservoir. And this is where the detergent comes out of during the cycle. Now, if you can have ready the, the, the beaker or the catch cup um, that you normally used to fill the chemical up. It, it came with the machine. And we'll just run through that process of how to drain that chemical out of here and replace it with warm water to give it a, a nice flush through. So if you come into the settings icon and then service, at this point, if you can call Mocom Australia for the passcode, We'll provide you that passcode and get you into the service area so that you can run component test. Now the phone number at Mocom Australia is 089244-4628. So it's 089244-4628. And we can talk you through to this bit. In component set two, uh, set we go into, so it gives you a warning saying use some PPE and we want component set number two and enter. In here, we've got this down the bottom right, CP, it stands for chemical pump. So that's what we want. Don't want to run it yet. What we need to have is our cup ready underneath this exit port. And using one hand, you can kind of just hold the, the lid on an angle, holding that cup in place, and press CP. So you may be able to hear that. It's just running all that chemical out of the reservoir. It holds about 900 mil in total when it's very full. When it's empty, you'll hear it making a, a really grumbling sound when it starts pumping air rather than liquid. And at that point, we can turn the chemical pump back off and replace it with warm water. Okay, so you can hear it's changed sound and it's just pumping out the last little bit of detergent. Once it's sounding terrible and no more liquids flowing. Now it's good. We can turn the chemical pump back off. Okay. Now, we can keep this chemical. There's nothing wrong with it. So just uh, tip it back into the bottle that it came from originally. And then we'll give this beaker a bit of a, a clean out and fill it with warm water. Okay, so taking off the detergent cap. Now there is a, um, a funnel of sorts for this unit. So we're just replacing what was detergent with nice warm water to help flush it through. And we're going to do the same. We're going to empty that water out using CP again. So it takes a little while for that water to pick up, get through the hydraulic circuit and come back out. And we'll just pump all of it out so that it's um, all of that residue of detergent is, is out and replaced with water. Alright, so you can hear it starting to sound grumbly. It's sucking air now and, and that'll do. So we can turn the chemical pump off and 
tip that one down the drain. So that's the chemical removed and flushed out with water. Um, now that, if you just did that, that'll be enough. Um, but why not use this as an opportunity to do a little bit of user maintenance so that by the time you come back to the clinic, your machine is uh, maintained, ready for action. So we'll remove the tray support and we'll give that a good wipe down with a mild detergent and lint-free cloth. Now this filter, this is a bit of a trap for some people. There's a filter inside a filter. So if we just remove this obvious filter and gave it a clean, that's step one. Step two is there's another filter down the plug hole here. Okay, so it catches the debris on the inside of that bucket, that mesh bucket or strainer. And we give that a good clean under running water and um, sometimes you've got to use a sharp tool to pick some debris out of there. And that sits there quite discreetly and a lot of people don't know about it. So we clean that and we clean that and pop it back in. Give the unit a good wipe down you could use this as an opportunity to top your salt up. With the salt, um, it comes with a funnel. I might just grab it out of this uh, cupboard here. So it's a special funnel that allows you to fill salt into the, into the reservoir and it displaces water out the side of the slide. Uh, water will end up in your tub, that's fine. The tub will sense that and shoot that water down to drain. So you want to see salt right up to the top, that's ideal. Um, and it displaces water to achieve that. That just means that when you come back to the practice, you, that's one less thing to have to worry about. The um, next step, of course, when you do come back, is to fill up your detergent reservoir with detergent and wander back into this same menu and press on chemical pump just so that you see some chemical coming out of here and then stop. Just so that you get, you're get purging the air from the line and you've got chemical there for the very first cycle when you're back. Um, after that, you would give the unit a good wipe down with a disinfectant. Um, we use an alcohol-based wipe and all of the high traffic areas, so the touch screen, the front of the unit, the lid, the under lip of the lid, the recess for the, the stop, the on off button. Um, so we're sanitizing the outside of the unit. They're really the key steps to um, maintaining and putting this unit, the H10 Tethys washer, into a state of um, care and maintenance or mothball, uh, so that when you come to use the unit again, when your clinic's finally open, it's ready for action. Thanks.